The ideal gas law is typically written PV equal NRT. And what the ideal gas law does is it takes the four main variables that affects gas behavior, pressure, volume, amount, and moles, N stands for moles, and temperature, and puts them all into one equation. All right, the fifth thing in this equation, R, is known as the gas constant. And the most common way to see that, that you see R is with the value point 08206 with units of atmosphere liter over mole Kelvin. There's a couple of different ways that you, a couple of different main ways you can use the ideal gas law. One way is you just kind of use it as given. You know, you got four variables here plus your constant. If you know three of the four, you can use this equation to solve for the fourth. Right. So a typical example might look something like this. Or what volume would give four grams of neon gas a pressure of 700 torr at 298 Kelvin? So if you look at the ideal gas law, we're given a pressure. Volume is what we're looking for. All right, remember, N stands for moles. We're not given the number of moles, but we are given the mass of the neon. So you can convert grams to moles using neon's molar mass. So doing a quick gram to mole calculation, you see that 4 grams of neon is about 20 moles. So we do have the moles. R is a constant, and we're given a temperature. So it looks like we should be able to plug those four things into this equation and solve for the volume. One thing you have to watch out for when you use the ideal gas law is that remember there are units associated with the gas constant. You know, atmosphere liter mole Kelvin. So if you want to end up with a number that's in units of volume, essentially your the uh, three variables that you have have to be have to match the units that you find in your gas constant R. So if look we do we are given a temperature that's in Kelvin, the amounts of course in moles. All right, but the pressure is given in torr and the gas constants it's in atmospheres. So that's another conversion we need to do before we start plugging it into our into our ideal gas law. So we've got to convert torr to atmosphere. And the conversion factor is one atmosphere is 760 torr. So that's 0.921 atmospheres. So now we plug in everything to, into our equation. Oops, it's two. Yeah, didn't give myself room here. Try to squeeze in two ninety eight K. So, you, like I said, you see the mole unit drops out, Kelvin unit drops out, atmosphere drops out. The only unit left is a unit of volume, which is what you're looking for. So, you plug all that in to your calculator and you get 5.3 liters.